Do you have like that excitement going on right now? Right? That it's all happening? I'm super excited. I get really excited this time of year. Oh, I love this. I'm so happy. I cannot even begin to tell you how happy I am. Last year, the big job was the leveling job. I did the whole thing by hand, which was just like so, just don't recommend that at all. But it was okay. Like I need to do it again, which is the real like absolute part of all of this. Overseeded with Champion GQ in the fall again. We're gonna throw a whole bunch more seed down. I don't know if I'm gonna use Champion GQ again. I may go back to the Berenbrug um, RPR, the Regenerating Perennial Rye, and I will tell you exactly why in a second. So this area all along here, this was the sort of main area that I leveled out. It did a lot, like it really, really did, but it's still bumpy when you walk on it and there's just a lot of little critters digging around in the lawn and stuff like that. Just from worms and, you know, just stuff like this. And I think I had like snow mold or, I don't know, I'm not really sure how to properly identify things like snow mold, but I hear people talk about snow mold. That's sort of the results of the one mow. And I did that with the, not with the Greensmaster. I did this with the rotary, not just the regular rotary, but I did do this with the, um, the Pro Stripe. This area here is always a problem because of the angle. Uh, when I leveled with sand, it raised up this part, all these little runners in between these stones here. It raised the, like the ground up like an inch and so these stones are now really far really far down and they're just overgrowing and when I take the mower now my tires wind up going the wheels of the mower go down and hit these stones and so all of this tends to get scalped um, even with the even with the greens master it's still like a huge problem so those have to get done this year and I also have to fix these right there which I hit with the mower, which was not good. Pool's open, so that's, that's good. Um, but today is the day that I'm going to lay down some liquid. I'm gonna throw down some nitrogen, possibly some humic acid, depending uh, on if I have it or not. This is the, come on, Chapin battery sprayer and this is next to the irrigation system the best thing that I've purchased also aside from the Pro Stripe and the Greensmaster 1600 this is the best thing I saw a lot of videos with people who were trying to figure out how fast to walk over a thousand square feet so you can get uh, one gallon per thousand and I did that and it was car difficult because I have a lot of sort of like little areas I got to get underneath uh, the deck parts I got to get along the tree line so I couldn't do it to time so what I did was grabbed a metronome app instead of working with time I work with beats per minute when I say beats per minute what that is is every time it clicks I take a step right so that's how I calibrate it and then I can just stop with the wand nothing's coming out and then I start with the wand and then I just continue 66 beats per minute using a step for every step, step, step. Oh look, I have to stop spraying and move something. And now I can do that. And then I grab my wand again and I start going again. Step, step, stop, stop. For me, 66 beats per minute are the exact amount of steps, I'm tall, I'm 6'4", that it takes me to put one gallon down on 1,000 square feet, almost like precision accuracy. So that's how I did that. So if you wanna try that, just grab a free metronome app, uh, figure out how long it takes you to do 100 square feet, figure out how long it takes you to do 1,000 square feet, then get somebody to time you, and with this, every step you take, you just tap it, right? You just tap it, and then you're like, you just keep tapping it until you figure out all your steps. So there you go. I may be completely wrong about this, but it works for me and just give it a try. Cause really, what do you got to lose other than burning and destroying your entire lawn? So while everybody was 
hoarding toilet paper during COVID, um, I was hoarding chemicals and lawn stuff. So this is one of like five, five pound bags of urea um, that I got. I still have like eight bags of malorganite that I bought in the United States of America, USA, USA, uh, two years ago. So I still have those. So I think I'm good. This part of the lawn right there that I'm looking at where they're doing the reno, it breaks my heart and I can't even look at it. It's so just like, it's tragic. It was really, really pretty last year and now it's sad. All right, so to uh, get the urea right, I think the rate that they said was I have to do, I don't know, like it's 0.25. I think that five pounds does 10,000 square feet and I have 8,000 square feet. Is that how that works? I don't know. You can do the math. Maybe you're watching me destroy my lawn right now. Again. So I dropped this on its side and the whole thing exploded. It just popped. So now I have to keep it in this. That's about right. <laughs> It's always my luck. As soon as I get this on, I have to pee. But we'll pee after. Oh. Here we go. So here's one of the reasons why I'm a big fan of the uh, Berenbrug RPR, because all along there, the edge of the pool, our pool coping is very narrow. It's aesthetically for me, a pool with just covered in grass and a little tiny bit of stonework around, to me that is like the perfect pool. So when I designed it, I designed it that way. But it means that those stones, because there's no shade, uh, get extremely hot and it has been a huge pain in the ass to try and get grass to stay all around the edges and especially with like the splashing of the salt water and the kid running around and me running around and all this stuff uh, so what I did last year was I dug out here along the edge and then I made a mixture of Berenbrug's um, seed and a little bit of soil and then I just went by hand and I just jammed it in all along here all the way around and then I, I just was just like let's just see how it goes and this is the only seed that hasn't died off or turned yellow and has just stayed nice and like I don't know if you can see this it's dense right here this is the most dense part of the lawn and this was at one time the most problematic part of the lawn. So my biggest problem is now the little bit of the lawn that I actually like the best. So that is why I'm now going to switch everything over when I do overseed with the Berenbrug again. Uh, the color is a little bit lighter than the Champion GQ, but I'm okay. I can live with that. Um, but it's dense. Like it is, this is now like right here. It's, it's good, we're good, we're good, it's tight. And I'm telling you, this was a problem and it's been a problem for, oof, I don't even know, four, four years now. And uh, the Berenbrug sort of solved that problem. I am so just 
incredibly happy to be back doing this. I know everybody's going nuts right now and you can't leave your house and your kids are going bonkers and it's scary, but you gotta have some sort of outlet to get your hands and your brain going and something you find relaxing, even if it's something you don't know how to do. Failing right now, this is the best. It is, there's never been a better time to fail at something right now because the next day for a lot of people is just wide open with the exception of a whole lot of worry. But hopefully if you're being creative and you're having a laugh and you're building something or you're making something or you're growing something or you're cooking something, whatever it is, it's the, uh, it's the distraction that, that you need. Do anything, because you're never gonna have this kind of time again, all cooped up inside with your family. Not like that's a bad thing. There's a lot of this right now I'm gonna miss. There's a lot of the world of self-isolation that I'm gonna really miss when we all go back to normal. Who cares? Build a birdhouse. Can you build a birdhouse? Build a birdhouse, why not? You got the time. Uh, thank you for everybody who watched and all the brand new comments. Everybody wanting an update, I did my best. Couldn't do a lot today, because I don't have a lot of time. Uh, we'll be back. This is day one of uh, spring 2020, and thank you so much. It feels really good to be back, and um, we'll talk soon.